life jackets, as well as free floating life rafts in the event of an actual water emergency. If something absolutely spectacular were to happen, just go ahead and follow along with a crew member and we'll make sure that everybody stays safe. Speaking of safety, we also have a few rules today. Please do not run, jump, or climb on the boat. We are going to be doing some rocking and rolling, so we just want to make sure that everybody keeps their feet on the deck. Also, for everybody's health and safety, we do require that face masks stay on at all times during the trip. The only exception is if you are eating or drinking. Speaking of eating or drinking, like I said, we do have a snack bar on board. If you would like a nice ice cold beer, some soda, water, chips, can, anything else of that nature, head downstairs and see Erica. She'd love to get you set up. Now we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy your 45 minute harbor tour. The area of water in right now is known as Rainbow Harbor. It was dredged out in the 90s for smaller vessels like our own. All those dredgings were then piled up off to the right and they put that lighthouse there. That lighthouse was donated to the city of Long Beach by the Long Beach Lions Club. Now it's not an actual aid navigation, but it does glow a rainbow colored light at night time.
care. She was so vital to the Allied forces that Hitler actually put a bounty on her. She was then painted Battleship Grey, and because of her speed and her color, she was able to disappear into the fog of the Atlantic, and this earned her the nickname, the Grey Ghost. She survived the war unscathed, and after the war returned back to passenger service, and was painted back to her original colors, black and white that you see today. In 1967, the Queen Mary made one last final trip around the tip of South America, and then her career right from the beach. She now serves as a floating hotel in the museum. And as we round the end of the Queen Mary, you will see a dome there that dome housed our use, Bruce Goose. The Spruce Goose was a wooden sea plank, and the idea behind it was it would carry troops across the Atlantic a lot faster than ships could. However, it was not completed until 1947, so it didn't actually see action. Now, the Spruce Goose did fly for a period of about 90 seconds here in Long Beach, and then it was taken to Morgan and put on display in the National Aviation Museum. Cruise that long beach over there, check into that dome, the long gangway.